Hi, my name's Jake. I like music. In fact, I like music so much I even have it written in black marker on the back of my iPod. One day, while I was looking up songs on iTunes for my iPod Touch, I came across an album named My Favorite Tunes in the Featured section. The cover was just a photo of a dark room with the 15 or 16 year old boy lying on his bed with his eyes closed and with headphones in his ears. I thought it was funny that an album nameless would show up in the featured section and I decided to buy the album without even checking out the songs on it. it took about 30 minutes to download the whole thing, well my internet was pretty slow at the time, but during that time I was playing some songs on my guitar not thinking too much about things. When it was finished downloading, I hopped onto the couch and started listening to the first song. It was a song Rock Lobster from the B-52s, but it sounded a little... odd. The notes seemed higher in pitch, and in some parts of the song it just sounded like a big mess of random notes. Well, I started thinking, but maybe it wasn't the song, and it was just me since I hadn't listened to Rock Lobster in a while. When the song was finally over, I started to switch to the next song. I glanced at the cover art and thought I recognized the teenager in the cover art. Eh, well, I tried not to think too much more, and I proceeded to the next tune. The second song was We Are the Champions, but it seemed higher in pitch and had spots with jumbles of notes just like the previous song. And this time, it was more than a little noticeable. This time... I heard someone whisper, Jake, at the end of the song. I, being gullible, just assumed it was my imagination. I was a little scared, but I still had the courage to listen to the next song and, and keep moving. This one's name was Day, and when I listened to it, it was the ambiance of a neighborhood or small town alongside a running car engine. It was maybe around 40 seconds long, and... When it was over, I was just confused, but I didn't stop there. The next three were Sweet Dreams, Don't Stop Believin', and Breakfast in America, all with the same effects as the first few. And I still thought I heard my name being whispered during the songs. Before I played the second to last song on the album, I looked at the cover art of the album again, and I thought I definitely knew that teenager, but I just couldn't place my finger on it. The second to last song was called Night. The first 20 seconds were nighttime ambience with the sound of someone walking on pavement. After that was the sound of the person who was previously walking now lockpicking a door. After 25-ish, perhaps, seconds, the door finally opened and the person now sounded like he or maybe she was walking up a staircase when the person got off the stairway they sounded like they were now walking on carpet while they were walking you could finally hear a male voice whispering bathroom parents room laundry room here we got Jake's room after hearing him say that my heart stopped for a second I now knew that he wasn't in any random building. He was in my house. I started to reach for the phone to call the police while still listening to the song. I heard him open the door and walk for a bit and then stop suddenly. Say cheese, I heard him say. He then immediately took a picture and then the song was over. I quickly looked at the cover again and realized that it was a picture of me, probably taken at the same time as the song was recorded. I hesitantly listened to the last song of the album, which was named Best Friends. I heard the same guy from the previous song say, Hello, Jake. If you try and call the police, well, I know you probably will, let's say bad things will happen. All I want is for us to become... Best Friends. I put down the phone and without thinking I just deleted the album. I quickly went over to a friend's house as my parents were gone to pick up my uncles and aunts from the airport and I told him about the album. He didn't believe me and when I tried to re-download the thing from the iTunes store it was gone. He called me a liar and told me to get out of his house. I went home. Disappointed. 
and afraid. It's been a couple months. I'm paranoid a lot, especially when I go to sleep. I haven't had any encounter yet with the person who created the album, except for sometimes this one car seems to slow down whenever they pass by me when I am walking on the sidewalk. And that, recently, someone wrote on my iPod under where I wrote, I like music. I like music too, Jake. 